And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Victor's Rage. That's right, our next meme tier deck is going to be Victor combined with Dragon's Rage. So we got Victor's Rage. Um, and uh, basically with Victor and these augment cards, you can create some units with a whole lot of power because the augment ability is whenever you play a created card, grant me plus one plus zero. So if we can play a bunch of created cards, make Victor very big, or maybe we do it with another augment card like Ballistic Bot. We can make them very big with a lot of power and then Dragon's Rage and strike the enemy Nexus for a whole bunch of damage. Besides that, we're gonna be uh, kind of a, a defensive deck. We also have Lee Sin um, with, you know, casting these augment spells. These augment spells are gonna be good for, you know, just casting spells and leveling up your Lee Sin and having Lee Sin do its, all of its Lee Sin stuff with, um, its ability to have Dragon's Rage as well. Um, let's see. So our Ballistic Bot will be creating um, Ignitions. We have two Clump of Wumps in here that can create Mushroom Clouds. That would be in another created cards. Um, and then we are, are also playing Monastery of Hirana. Monastery creates a Sanctuary um, every single turn. So another created card to level up our Victor and get spells to level up Lee Sin. The Sanctuary could be really cool with um, a couple of things. Like, what if we want to play it, we can. Um, but we don't have, like, a ton of, like, really great targets for, for the um, for the Sanctuary. Because you don't want to, like, bounce your Augment cards, right? Because that will reset the power. But we can bounce, like, Clump of Wumps back to our hand and replay that and get more Mushroom Clouds. Um, the main thing, though, that we're going to try to be bouncing is Concussive Palm. That's, like, our main combo with Monastery is Concussive Palm, Stun Something... Put in Tail of the Dragon, recall the Tail of the Dragon, so then you get Concussive Palm back. That's going to be our main combo of Monastery and Concussive Palm. But then also, if we don't have a target that we really want to bounce with this Sanctuary, and we don't want if we don't want to use it, we can get rid of it. We have Sump Treasure that we can discard it to draw a card. Plus then, like, afterwards, we can also put the Sump Treasure back in our hand and do that the next turn. Uh, get rid of the um, Sanctuary draw a card. So it's, you know, like, it's a kind of a two-turn process for us to draw an additional card. But then we're also playing Rummage. Rummage can work with like these other created cards that we have, plus the Sanctuaries. We can rummage them away and find more cards that way. Um, Spirit's Refuge, Deny, can do a little protecting. Deep Meditation can draw some cards. Also some Subpercibles that can be an additional draw one that we could bounce back to our hand. We could play Subpercible early as just like a 1-5 elusive, um, and then Sanctuary it back to our hand after we've played 10 cards and then make it a 5-5. Five five. So we can still play this early as a, a blocker and not really worry about the plus 4, plus 0 immediately because of the Monastery. All right, but let's give it a try. This should be some fun. We're going to just go play on over in Normal, and we're going to play some Victor's Rage. All right, we got um, some Leona Yasuo. Don't necessarily play against Yasuo all the time. I love the, the double Ballistic Bot, right? I love that start. And then we can have some Treasure, which can discard an Ignition, which is pretty good. Aftershock doesn't necessarily kill either of these, but it's a good card, so we'll just keep it. So yeah, we'll just keep the Aftershock, because it's a good card. All right, Channel Point predictions are open. All right, let's go Ballistic Bot. I guess you can attack for one. Nothing wrong there. Uh, that's a good question. So if if the Concussive Palm unit Tail of the Dragon is silenced, will it go back? You know, will it, and then you recall it. Will it still go back to being? Um, a Concussive Palm, or will it stay Tail of the Dragon? I think it would stay the 3-2, because on Tail of the Dragon, it says when Recall turn me into Concussive Palm, but if it's silenced, then it wouldn't have that text. So I believe it would still... Uh, so I believe it would just be the 3-2 in your hand. We will not suffer unbelievers. They will not escape punishment. So yeah, I think it'll just say the 3-2. Cool. 
cool, a victor. Warriors of the Raharat, our time is now. We'll follow you to the edge of Daybreak. Burn away doubt. I don't want to mystic shot this Solari shield bear. No, we'll, we'll cast the two ignitions. Actually, I'm just going to cast one ignition and keep the spell mana for next turn. Then I play Lee Sin and then double ignition. Or I guess probably hex core upgrade it and ignition. Playing a little bit of defense. Follow the wind, but watch your back. You play this for the slow. You know, it's a slow spell. Grant Victor an additional keyword, and then want concussive palm. Yasuo, keep it from attacking. Tough. Tough's a good keyword. This is a pretty cool combination. Ballistic bot with Lee Sin. And obviously, Victor. Victor's are gonna be, it's six out of eight right now. So seven, eight, then it's free. So I'm basically deciding, do I wanna play this other ballistic bot first? And I think that answer is yes. Two, six, seven, eight. Yeah. I am the bulwark against darkness. The dawn has arrived. That's going to be annoying. Elusive? Ooh, got elusive. It's an elusive scout. They could definitely have Hush, though. So I don't want to just, like, attack immediately, because they, they definitely have Hush. So maybe I just don't even attack with Victor at all, because of Hush. Could just pass turn. Or am I just supposed to, like, how does, how does attacking with Lee Sin, like, what do they do against Lee Sin? Like, Hush doesn't stop Lee Sin. They'd have to, they'd have, like, Bastion. Yeah, I guess we just should be kicking with Lee Sin. Prepare yourself. Mm. Center your spirit. 
Yeah, cause they could use like Bastion or Deny, but then they can't do that and get rid of my barrier and kill Lee Sin all together. Dragon's Rage! Victor's Rage! Daylight everlasting! So Laddie control all that her want touches. Alright, that'll stun the Victor. Sunlight lines. Ingenious. System of Of course, I can cast a deep meditation if I need to to give Lee Sin barrier. But I'm kind of seeing like if they if they tap out, then I get to Dragon's Rage. Yeah, that's what I was hoping. I was hoping they'd do that. Sunlight burns in our weapons. So they don't have hush anymore. Victor's Rage. Why are you saying stuff whenever you're getting stunned? Victor's rage. There we go. All right, it worked. It worked. I thank you. I know, right? Those bots are insanely talkative. They never shut up. Ooh, some more Poros. So we have Lux Poros because of Aurora Porealis with Lux, that combination. So I'm going to Mulligan the Spirit's Refuge and the Dragon's Rage, and I kind of want to Mulligan the Lee Sin, honestly, and the Thermogenic Beam. Because I want, basically what we had the last game, I want Ballistic Bot. And then, you know, like we had two Ballistic Bot last game, that was awesome. That's the card I want, so I'm all again looking for that. We'll take this hand. Oh, Grand Plaza. Boo. I guess it makes sense to play the Grand Plaza in this deck. Oh, I don't know why I'd not attack the two. I guess I could have. <laughs> Is it the boosters? Who knows? Yeah, Grand Plaza seems awesome with Braum. Right? Like, that seems like a pretty great combination. Yes, of course. Let's go with Tough. So I have to discard two of these. We can discard the Sump Dredger and I guess the Dragon's Rage, but I love Dragon's Rage. Maybe Subpersible. Maybe it should have been the, the Deny. I 
is tough. We can do this. Okay, so I'm going to thermogenic beam the four two. I could go after killing Lux right now, right? Like, I could go, like, Death Ray on the Lux. No, it's still not going to kill. I was thinking Death Ray plus Thermogenic Beam plus Lee Sin Challenge, but it's not going to work. So let's just go... Let's just go with this. Only two still for Victor. That was nice having those ballistic bots. All right, good deny. I fight with my spirits, not my fists. Our enemies would be foolish to underestimate you. All right, awesome. They don't have another challenger to take down my victor. That's very good. Elusive. Man, I have all these Dragon's Rage. Dragon's Rage. Where are you at? You're at seven? So I can play that, make it eight. I need to do like a little bit of damage to this. Oh, that's that's doing it the other way. It's doing the the dragon's rage at first. So it's still just going to bounce the lux back to hand. Yeah, so like this, this death ray doesn't do anything. Who are they striking? I can't even tell what's going on here. Okay, being struck is Victor. Okay. So that means Victor is going to die to the final spark. Um, that's too bad. I was hoping to have that to save Victor from the final spark, but now, now Victor is going to die to the final spark. Is the concerted strike? Well, this is that's unfortunate. That's backwards. That's that's really too bad. Cause yeah, that MK would have killed that Lux. I guess the good news that should be ten cards, right? So oh, well, the final spark's gonna go. That's too bad. Well, that didn't work out how I wanted it to, but I do have two Dragon's Rage. That can, you know, do some Nexus damage. I have the Aftershock that can do Nexus damage. Breathe in, breathe out. Like, these Dragon's Rage should do a lot of good work for me. We can do this! Should. Good. No single combat. Good. Put that back in their hand. Oh, yeah, they, they, they do have these three, three, four O's. Oh man, that's a four, five. Why is the three, three not like killing my eye of the dragon? They had a free kill there. Everything's tough anyway. Shock. Three damage. 
There we go. Yeah, Lee Sin was just kicking Lux. Ionia endures. All right, our same deck that we uh, beat the first game. No Eye of the Dragon, no Subpersible. Keep the bot. I like William against Yasuo and Leona. We'll keep William. Okay, prediction is now enabled. Win channel points if you make the correct prediction. Will we win or lose? <laughs> yeah, they're so they're so loud. here. We have a, a lot of different ways we could go this turn. We can we could play like the Sump Dredger and discard the other Ignition. I could play uh, Clump of Wumps and then Rummage away the Ignition and the Mushroom Cloud. Cascade? Guess I'll let them play Pale Cascade. I would have preferred them not to have Pale Cascade. I would have preferred that, but... Don't always get what we want. Daylight, everlasting! Solari control all that her want touches. is a problem like always considering just open attacking Progress. and do that Gaze into the light. you got to take 10 go ahead take 10 take 10 take 10 good blocks no end. go back to the other blocks all right so they're taking four Steel Tempest out of their hands. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. So we're just gonna keep on keep on hitting them. We got uh, you know two aftershocks and a mystic shot. Maybe I give him a mushroom cloud. I'll just save the spell mana. Okay, I guess I probably should have gave them a mushroom cloud. Four, five, 
four and one. The rage is for a dragon's rage. We're playing we're playing two dragons rage in here, and that's how we won like that's how we won the first game. It was with Victor kicking their face with Dragon's Rage. The power of the immortal sun. The sun's splendor revealed. So I'll take a hit here. But I can afford it. I definitely need to cast the two ignitions. That one two should absolutely be attacking. There's no reason for that one two not to attack. Should have cast one of those last turn, could have had a some treasure here. But basically I want to give them, you know, like maybe they draw a puff cap, right? They have like a 50% chance of drawing one puff cap. <sighs> okay. A new era of technology begins. The future is steel and science. My faith protects me. Sunlight blinds. I guess that still does cost me two mana to replay. Yes, of course. Another brilliant design. Genius in action. All right, draw some puff caps. Okay, there's the Dragon's Rage. Shining gifts from the sky. The sun's splendor reveals. Genius in action. I guess they could be, be playing Deny, as far as Dragon's Rage is concerned. A great mind must never idle. This is basically going to be the game, you know, like whether or not they have you know, denies and bastions and nopify. It's going to be the game one way or the other. All right, and they do, so they win. Obviously, I can only block one of those. Oh yeah, like those, like they definitely have Bastion and Deny in their deck. It's just, you know, whether or not they had it in their hand. Okay, prediction now started. So we're playing against Swain with Ionia. So they could be playing a Swain's Rage deck. So this could be a Dragon's Rage Mirror with Swain's Rage and Victor's Rage. We're gonna keep Victor, keep Concussive Palm, Mulligan the other two. All right, so do you think we'll win or lose? You can predict with your channel points. The card that really won that game for my opponent was that Invoke card that the deal four, deal one to the two Ballistic Bots. That was really the game changer. I also didn't have to make that Ballistic Bot attack to turn my one Ballistic Bot into being one health. Maybe I shouldn't have, you know, if they had the stun to go along with it. Kind of waiting on this Ballistic Bot a little bit. 
the recall card, I can't, you can't play the recall card in response to anything, right? Like when they played the deal four, deal one, I couldn't, I could cast Will of Ionia and put Ballistic Bottom back in my hand, but I didn't think that that was worth it. But I couldn't use the Sanctuary card. You can only do that, you know, it's like a gem, you can only do that um, when there's nothing else on the stack. Join the glorious evolution. How's this turn going to go for us? I'm definitely playing this. We have five other mana. What am I doing? Like, Monastery Bot? I'm playing Bot. Let's play the Bot. Our goals are greater than petty violence. Glory, courage, excuses. All right, Monastery in play. Thanks, Deny. Thanks for helping out against that Colin Strike. <laughs> All right, decimate. Yeah, we can just let that happen. It's okay, I'm not gonna deny that. We're at six for subpersible. I know I, I'm wasting these two created cards, but we'll make more. That was probably something that I did last turn. I probably cast created cards too much last game instead of just like playing other cards to help us stabilize and all that kind of stuff. So you're at seven. This would be eight. That'd be four mana. I'd have three mana left. Let's lead with you. Alright, that's acceptable. That's nine. Join me if you want to live. So Supercible will be number ten. I just want them to waste their seven mana. Pass. All right, so Supercible will be number ten, and we can put uh, Supercible back into our hand. Card can end this. I suppose. Witness perfection, meat bags. I'm gonna put this, putting the subpersible, but the subpersible back in my hand. Can do. Look what you 
I don't even know if these. That's probably it's probably not even worth playing that Iron Dragon, honestly, because I guess I don't have room. Gets the card out of my hand, as far as filling my hand is concerned. By my hat, the Noxus rides. Grand General. I can't like concussive palm pick concussive palm back up kind of thing. I guess I played the wrong Subpersible. They know about the other Subpersibles. I should have played this one. This is the one they know about. From my hand. Really hope they can't do any more next damage. Awesome. Get that attack in. Try to put them down to seven. The ignition put them down to six. And you know, have these other things to try to finish the game. Yeah, Swain with Dragon's Rage is pretty awesome. GG's. What was the Dragon's Rage Mirror? We lost the Dragon's Rage Mirror. Alright, and now Garen Aurelian Soul. All right, this monastery has looked just too slow. It has. It's it's kind of cool, but it has definitely looked too slow. Um, we're gonna go ahead and mulligan those two and the subtractor. Okay, we'll keep subpersible. It's just like like ballistic bot with ignitions and everything's already pretty slow, and I I just don't know if I have like time to play the monastery. I don't, I don't know if I do. If I block, then we could have the Mystic Shot later for the Egghead Researcher. But then again, it's an Egghead Researcher. Okay. I was expecting the Landmark. And so I wanted to keep Aftershock available to destroy the Landmark. No, I think I think we're like with Garen. I think they have the Demacia landmark, the Grand Plaza. Can you improve 
I could pass turn there, but if they if they pass priority to me right there, they may pass priority to me again here. Yep. Cool. Save the disengage. Join the glorious evolution. Evolution. My faith protects me. I don't think they're playing Targon's Peak. I haven't seen too much Targon Peak, Targon Peak in these kind of decks. Shining gifts from the sky. I'm sorry, Monastery. I'm just never going to play you. I know you're cool and all, but I'm just not going to play you. Just gonna be honest. This could be a single combat where I'll want to have my other Mystic Shant available also. Gonna be number six. Oh, that was number five. Okay. So yeah, that thing being a five one is gonna be pretty annoying. So the first bull's at seven. Yeah, they just have like, you know, big units and everything, and they're just gonna be a little too fast from a monastery. I mean, I think the mushroom cloud's gonna be perfectly fine though, you know, it is another creative card that'll allow us to level up Victor. Slow down, will you? So that's gonna level up Lee Sin. Okay. GG's. A vision of progress. I don't know exactly what the plan was. Um, yeah, I don't know exactly what the plan was there for them. I think that... I don't know if they... I don't know if they like they were looking for single combat or if they even had... Or if they, maybe they had single combat and they wanted to, to like respond there and then be able to fight and kill Lee Sin. But they, they would have had to do it on the Grizzled Ranger. But then even then, you know, I had that Mushroom Cloud that I could play Burst Speed. And that would have leveled up Lee Sin. They could have maybe, like, killed the Victor with a single combat. But Things were looking pretty good for us, though. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't have the uh, Grand Plaza, which, of course, makes everything much better for them. Um, don't know exactly what they had. But things were looking pretty good for us. All right, so there we go. Victor's Rage. I liked I liked some stuff in this deck. I think that there's some good stuff. I think that um, Victor and Lee Sin looked really good together. Um, being able to create, you know, have all the created cards uh, be extra spells for Lee Sin. I thought that worked really well together. Um, I do think that the monastery part didn't work out. And that, you know, it's good to try that out. You know, like it's a meme tier day. We're trying stuff out. But this was going to be too slow for this deck. I think instead of monasteries... I would rather just have like another clump of wumps. That card was was fine, and then maybe like a maybe like a chump wump at four mana to make some more creative cards. Or um, the problem with that is that it is four, and that's that's one thing about our, our deck is it's, it's kind of too many fours and fives. We could really use another three mana card. Um, and so, what would be a good three mana card in this deck? I I don't know if you wanted to sit back with an android. You have you have already have too many of too many other things that are just going to be sitting back um maybe i mean i guess you could maybe play a get excited 
Um, could have like a Sumpworks map, I guess. Give give something, you know, give like Ballistic Bot or Victor Elusive. Like I could definitely see that giving that Ballistic Bot Elusive. But then again, there are lots of um, lots of uh, hushes running around these days. Um, Mystic Shot was just fine. Could play a third Mystic Shot. Could play a Nopify. Could play another Thermogenic Beam. Probably one of those. Probably a Beam, a Mystic Shot, or a Nopify. Could have Sonic Wave with the Challenger. Could do that. Like, that card's pretty good with um, Victor. And I guess it does create a card, right? Like, that Resonating Strike is a created card. Trail of Evidence has always been good. That's been an underrated card. Like, that's a good card, because that's, again, another created card. Um, I guess Retreat Return would kind of work in here. It's not the best to bounce your eye of your uh, ballistic bot, but like clump of wumps or eye of the dragon or some treasure. Scales of the dragon, get a dragon's protection. That could be decent. Yeah, throw one of those in there. There you go. Throw a scales of the dragon in there. Dragon's protection could be nice with like Victor and Lee Sin and, and Ballistic Bot and Eye of the Dragon and everything. And a 4-2 is a good blocker, right? Like it's a 4-2 is not like you would think that a 4-2 would be a better attacker because it attacks for four. And that is the case against decks not playing units. But whenever, you know, like basically everybody has units, right? Like so like they'll be able to just block with a, like a 2-2 or a 2-1. So it's not really that good of an attacker. But playing Scales of the Dragon in a defensive deck like we have, um, the 4-2 can trade up, right? Like because we can sit there and we can block you know, three fours and four fours and stuff like that. It can block fearsome things and Callista, and, you know, we get to choose what we want to block. So as long as, you know, like we're not just going to throw it away in combat, it could be a decent blocker. And that can be a decent creative card for us. Um, I don't like Death Ray. I, I really don't like Death Ray in this kind of deck. There's not enough card draw in here for Death Ray because... You know, it's a one mana deal one is not that good of a card. It's only like really good against the hyper aggro decks. But then a two mana deal but then you know, like late like if we if we draw this on like turn five or whatever, we play Death Ray, we put a two mana deal two into our deck, which is still kind of worse than the other cards, and then we and then we put a three mana deal three into our deck. But a lot of times we're gonna want to find like our victors and Lee Sins and like all these these other cards that are just kind of better than that. And I I just don't want to spend my very valuable draw steps, which you know, like the your draw step is incredibly valuable, and I just don't really want to spend them drawing MK2 and MK3. No, I, I don't. So I don't really like that card. I'd much rather just have an, an additional Mystic Shot, or maybe get excited discarding some of these created cards. I'd much rather have that. Victor's Rage. So yeah, I think that the Monastery it was good to, good to test out, but did not work out. And so maybe play another Clump of Wumps and a Scale of the Dragons. So that, that gives us more board presence with Clump of Wumps and Scale of the Dragons. So they give us more blockers, more things to trade with earlier units, more things to block with. But then they also double up. They give us spells for Lee Sin and created spells specifically for Victor. So they, they help out both of our champions there. So let's get those in instead of the Monasteries. All right, but that's it here for Victor's Rage. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Let me know what you think of these changes, just what you thought of the deck in general. How'd you like Victor and Lee Sin working together? And if you got other ideas for Victor Lee Sin decks or anything like that, leave those comments. I'd love to see them. All right, but that's it here for Victor's Rage. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.